Well, I was very excited to be invited to be here in this very prestigious next to the last late night with Conan O'Brien. This is a great honor. I wanted to feel good today. I was going to go to the gym. I did not go. But that's okay because I know most of you did not go either. Why don't we go? People want to go to the gym, but they don't go, and, but they prefer to say the word gym. I hear the word gym a lot in the day. People say, I'm going to the gym. You want to go to the gym? Where's the gym? Is there a gym? I'm going to go to the gym. Do you belong to a gym? Why don't we go to the gym? Is it the inconvenience? Is it the exercise? I think we don't want to stand up. That's the core issue. The human body is designed to be seated. Look at the body. Look at the way it bends right in the middle, right where the chair bends. You have an ass. What do you think that is? It is a seat cushion growing out of your body. The ass is the first indication that we're slowly evolving into chairs. We began as primitive creatures crawling on the ground. Then for thousands of years, we crouched. Finally, we stood fully upright, came to our senses and sat right back down again. You don't... You hate, to be, you hate to be even a little disturbed when you're in your chair. Like when you're in the nice theater here, you see someone coming down your road. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the only time you're happy to get up out of a chair is if you're going to a bed. <laughs> bed beats chair. <laughs> Nothing beats bed. Bed is the ultimate, it's like royalty. That's why it has names like king and queen. <laughs> You're in bed at night, somebody calls, they want to go out. You're like, are you out of your mind? Do you know where I am right now? I'm in the bed. And the people that call, they feel awful that they call. Oh my like, God, he was in bed, he was in bed. <laughs> Even death, you want to be in bed. They have a special bed for death. Your death bed. <laughs> Don't you always read that he died in his death bed? Why would you even buy a bed like that? <laughs> what chance do you have of getting better sleeping in a death bed? Where is that section in the furniture store? Uh, these are our death beds over here. We have the death side table, death reading lamp. Is that a death clock radio? Yeah, but there's no snooze. Either you get up or you don't. I read... Uh, Now, cremation has become the most popular form of burial in the United States, which seems like a change in something, because people used to want a big, thick granite stone, their name carved into it with a chisel. I was here, damn it. <laughs> Cremation's like you're trying to cover up a crime, burn the body, scatter the ashes around. As far as anyone's concerned, this whole thing never happened. No, I don't want to be cremated. I want the real straight-up funeral thing. Everyone's going to be there that I know. I want to be there, too, right up at the front. Yeah. Dead as a doornail, laid out like a six-foot party sub. <laughs> Let them all sit there with that creepy funeral feeling that makes you think weird thoughts. Funerals make you think things. What if he just sat up right now? <laughs> and if the person did suddenly just sit up, they could flow right back into living pretty easily. They're dressed up, their hair's done, they're made up, they look fantastic. Once the screaming stopped, I think everybody would be fine with it. <laughs> why does the brain have crazy thoughts? Like, why is your brain suggesting to you things you don't really want to do? You ever be in the middle of a conversation with somebody, have a thought pop into your head? I could probably kill this guy right now. <laughs> have you thought that? He asked me to hand him a scissor. I could take that scissor and stab him. I could kill him right now. Why do I have suicide fantasies to go along with my homicide fantasies? Anytime I go over somebody's place where they have a terrace or a balcony, I always gotta look right over that rail. I could flip right over this thing! Everybody here would freak out! Oh my God, he killed himself, I don't believe it! I was just about to stab him with a scissor. Thank you very much.